Hey, it's David. So I got a lot of people ask me questions about the different uh, different versions of Laravel guitars, and I wanted to go over those just real briefly. Um, full disclosure: I do have a tiny, tiny, tiny Laravel dealership that I basically use to support my Laravel buying habit. So uh, some of the guitars here are going to be for sale. Some of them are part of the collection, and you know, if I don't sell them, they'll be part of the collection. So. Uh, I just kind of want to work, I'll work left to right here, um, kind of go over some of the differences. So you have your traditional series Laravels, which are different than kind of the the classic series, you know, the 02s, 03s, 05s, 09s, 10s, that sort of thing, um, where they've kind of developed a different bracing system and, you know, it's a more of a traditional vintage squared off headstock design. Um, I want to work left to right here. So this is what's called a triple O44. So 0044 is based on the 0040, which is that right there in the middle. And I'll get to that in a second because that's not a stock 0040 either. Um, so 44 is Laravel's way of basically kind of upgrading the 40s and getting them pretty close to the 50s and 60s. There are some cosmetic differences. There's no quality difference, but there's some cosmetic differences. So this 44 uh, is a triple O. And I've had it upgraded um, on top of the 44, you know, upgrades, which is which is basically a gloss finish um, with the moonwood top and a sunburst finish. So your 44s take it from a mahogany to rosewood back and sides. So here's your rosewood and you know gloss body, gloss neck, uh, pearl logo. Um, and these are fantastic. So they they come in at a little bit lower price point than the 50s and 60s, um, but they're every bit as good. So this next one here, that is an SD40, and this is kind of how the 40 series are going to come. So a 40 series, by its very nature, is a satin finish body, uh, mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, and a Sitka spruce top. So most of them are Sitka, because I do order a lot of my inventory with Moonwood. Um, so there's your SD body. You can kind of see the difference. The SD body, and actually the you know the the triple O, they're 12 fret to the neck, um, or 12 fret to the body, uh, or it's where the neck meets the body at 12 fret. Sorry, I'm not really a good public speaker. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you're going to see the other SD bodies here. So SD50, SD60. So SD50s, mahogany back and sides. And that one has a sunburst Sitka top and the SD60 rosewood back and sides. Now these are older SD50s and SD60s here. So they have, I believe it's a one and seven eighths inch nut. It's, they're very, very wide, very wide um, fingerboards, which some people love, some people hate. Um, your SD40 is a one and three quarter. So a little more comfortable uh, for a lot of people. Again, there's no quality difference between the two guitars, or between the three guitars. Um, it's basically cosmetics, some woods. Uh, now the SD50, SD60 do have a bigger sound hole. So you can kind of see the sound hole difference between the, two, between the three of them. That makes most of the difference in the bass response. Um, nothing crazy, but you know, they are different. Now this is an S, I'm sorry, this is a triple O 40 that I had made for myself, boy, three or four years ago. And I ordered this one with a gloss top. So the cool thing about the 40 series is that they are extremely customizable. So you can order them in a lot of different variations. So this one wasn't a very expensive upgrade, just kind of standard, standard triple uh, O 40 but it has a gloss finish on the top and then satin finish on the back and sides. You can kind of see the difference there. This is a D60. So again, D60, like the SD50 and SD60, does have a bigger sound hole, but it's the 14 fret to the body, neck joint. So just your very traditional uh, dreadnought shape. Now, the one thing about the SD and the D60 and 50s is, they have that on the back of the headstock, which the 40s and 44s don't. I never know how to pronounce it. I could spell it. Volute, I think it is. But that's one of the what's one of the main differences cosmetically. I mean, you have some different cosmetics again. 
the 40s and 44s are, you know, quote unquote, a little plainer, but, you know, quality difference, nothing crazy. I mean, like, no quality difference, and honestly, appearance wise, you know, I don't think you could look at this guitar, which is the 44, and say, oh, that guitar is substantially cheaper than these guys right here. Okay, there's, there's, it's, it, it will be hard to tell. And, and frankly, I bought these because, you know, I do have a big Laravel collection. I kind of want to have all of them. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to be the guy that just like, yeah, yeah, spend the extra money and get that. Just play them, whatever sounds great, it's great. But I do love how the 44s, uh, you know, get you a really nice finish at a lower price point. And then over here is another uh, 40 series. That's an OMV 40. So OM body style with the Venetian cutaway, which is really cool. Um, again, all satin. Uh, most of these are Sitka tops, Sitka spruce tops, which is the standard, which is fantastic. When I order stuff from my dealership, I have been getting Moonwood, which is like an Alpine spruce. They do sound slightly different. Um, is it better? No, is it worse? No, it just you know I, I wanted to have some stuff that was that was a little different, um, and so I ordered them that way. So again, just kind of going left to right here. We have a triple O forty four Moonwood Sunburst, SD forty, just stock. You know, lovely guitar, quite loud actually, um, but still really you know I like the SD body styles. They just I like smaller body guitars, but the SD kind of has best of both worlds. They're really resonant and really articulate um, while still retaining a lot of the dreadnought characteristics. Then you have your, your SD50 and SD60. Now these have the slotted headstock, which is available as an option on the other guitars too. Some people love them, some people hate them. You know, it's up to you to decide. And then we have a triple O 40 with the gloss top which is really cool because you know the satin tops they're fantastic but you know they I, I have a little studio here and sometimes satin tops can make a little bit more arm noise you know but it, it's slight it's nothing crazy so but i order that one with a gloss top then we have a d60 you know which is your traditional dreadnought body style and rosewood and that is an OMV40, so Mahogany Sitka Spruce Venetian Cutaway. So if anybody has any questions and wants to see more, if you like this, I know I am nowhere near a professional videographer or orator or any of that, but I do have a passion for Laravel guitars, and I get asked a lot of questions because of the collection that I have, and I just wanted to be of some help. So um, yeah, I mean, I do sell these guitars. It's not how I make my living, but like I do have a tiny dealership. Even if you don't want to buy a guitar from me ever, which is totally fine. I love talking about them and I would be happy to help uh, answer any questions. So, yep. Thank you for your time.